Dan Brown, Toy and Plastic Brick Museum, Blair, Ohio. Behind me, you have the MUA cell. The MUA cell was created as a um, float in a, uh, a parade over in uh, Enfield, Connecticut. Um, originally, there was a cow mounted on top of the MUA cell, and uh, we have had to do some rebuilding because we had it stored outside because it wouldn't fit in the building at one point. And um, we uh, turned around and rebuilt it, and then we also made a mechanism. So if you press the button, push here, the moose cell actually spins. So we actually turned it into a real carousel. Before it was just a float and a parade. There you go, yeah. As you can tell, it's all cow themed. Uh, there's cows on the top, cows heads coming out of the top end of it. Uh, it was very well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've even got, you know, the poles just like the regular carousel. Uh, you got some, some big minifigs on top of there. I mean, some, some kind of mirrors in the middle and stuff. Oh, yeah. It, it, again, it was, a, it was just a uh, float and a parade that we turned around and actually made into a real carousel. So it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a fun conversion process. Uh, we had a heck of a time getting it to turn all the time, but we got it to work. Yeah, yeah and those, those are really cool little uh, cow builds as well. So you get... You definitely, definitely get the carousel feel from it. Does it usually work most of the time, or do you have issues with the spinning and everything, with the pushing button and everything? I uh, no, no. We, we've had no problems okay. with the push button and other stuff. Where we had the problem was when it was outside, um, the moisture would get to it, and we had a, a lot of problems with the the belt slipping. Okay. So once we put it inside and there was no more moisture issues, we had no problems with it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. And then you've got some other kind of, you know, similar theme builds around here. Uh, we, we found different figures, and um, uh, in fact, that penguin right there, he's going upstairs. So we, as I told you earlier, we have a, uh, um, a new uh, display going in and out over the winter. It's going to be fun, but the penguin's going to be part of that. Um, but we bought some original uh, bumper cars. Those are actual original bumper cars, and we put the uh, figures in them because we thought the carousel room would uh, look good with uh, all kinds of different um, carousel or carnival-type themes. Mm -hmm. And we put the clowns down here because kids kept getting freaked out about the clowns. So they worked out down here, so they don't have to go down here if they don't want to. Even Lego clowns are scary. Lego clowns are scary <laughs> to certain people. We've had, we've had a couple of kids who run out of the room screaming because of the clowns. And I've noticed you've got a lot of the artwork that's really cool, you know, around the building. I just you got some of that down here as well. Yeah, uh, we were able to, we're very fortunate. Um, we have an artist that uh, turns around, works with us, and was able to do the artwork down here. Um, we did have a, a leak problem over on that back wall, which we're uh, going to be addressing this winter. And hopefully we can get that fixed, but uh, everything else has been holding up very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's really awesome. So fun carnival-themed room here, and uh, the MUA cell is very interesting as well. And the original pipes are all here from the original shower room that was uh, the, from the school. So this turned out real nice. We painted them, and everything looked great. Okay, yeah. Very cool. Thanks for showing that to us. Well, thank you very much for seeing the MUA cell. <laughs>